Which chapter trigonometry? In this video, I am going to explain an important topic of trigonometry. That is trigonometric identities. So, in trigonometry, we have three trigonometric identities. But first of all, see what is an identity? The definition of a identity. An identity is that mathematical equation which is true for all the values of the variables in the equation. Means a mathematical equation. If it contains the variables, then it is satisfied by the all the variables. Means it is true for all the variables. And identity is that mathematical equation which is true, which is true for all the values of the variables in that equation. In trigonometry, we have the three identities. Now see one by one. Now see the first identity. Sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1. Sin square a plus cos square a equal to 1. Now, this is first trigonometric identity. Here, the variable is a. a means any angle. Means while substituting the in place of a any angle, it is satisfied by this equation. Means LHS equal to RHS. If you substitute a equal to angle 30 degrees left side, then the complete answer is equal to again same 1. Means it is for a, if you substitute any angle in left side, the answer must be right side value is 1. So, this is called an identity. It is true for all variables. So, this is the first identity sin square a plus cos square a equal to 1. Now, see here we can explain express sin in terms of cos and cos in terms of sin. See the first one sin square a transpose cos value right side then plus cos square a becomes minus cos square a. Now, apply square root on both sides. So, under root of sin square a equal to under root of 1 minus cos square a. Square root cancel sin a equal to under root of 1 minus cos square a. So, sin in terms of cos. So, this is from identity 1 sin a equal to under root of 1 minus cos square a. In the same way express cos in terms of sin. So, same from identity transpose sin value right side cos square a equal to 1 minus sin square a. Now, apply square root on both sides. So, under root of cos square a equal to under root of 1 minus sin square a square root cancel cos a equal to under root of 1 minus sin square a. So, this is cos in terms of sin. So, the main identity remember this sin square a plus cos square a equal to 1. From this we can express sin in terms of cos means sin a equal to under root of 1 minus cos square a cos a cos a equal to under root of 1 minus sin square a. Now, second identity check square a minus tan square a equal to 1 check square a minus tan square a equal to 1. Now, this is the second identity. Now, see express in the same way sec in terms of tan and tan in terms of sec. Now, see here sec square a transpose tan value right side sec square a equal to 1 plus tan square a. Now, apply square root on both sides sec square a equal to under root of 1 plus tan square a. Here square root cancel sec a equal to in terms of tan means 1 plus tan square a, 1 plus tan square a. In the same way, express tan in terms of sec. So, here same, the transpose tan value right side and bring one value left side. So, here sec square a, one value left side, so minus 1, minus tan square a value right side. So, this is plus tan square a. Now, same apply square root on both sides under root of sec square a minus 1 equal to under root of tan square a square root cancel. So, write tan a equal to under root of sec square a minus 1. Now, see the second identity sec square a minus tan square a equal to 1. Now, from this sec a equal to under root of 1 plus tan square a tan a equal to under root of sec square a minus 1. Next third identity cosec square a minus cot square a equal to 1. Now, this is third identity. 
same express cosec in terms of cot and cot in terms of cosec. The first one cosec transpose cot square a right side. So, cosec square a equal to 1 plus cot square a. Same apply square root on both sides under root of cosec square a equal to under root of 1 plus cot square a square root cancel cosec a equal to under root of 1 plus cot square a cosec a equal to under root of 1 plus cot square a. Now in the same way express cot in terms of cosec. So interchange cot square a and 1. So it becomes cosec square a plus value becomes minus and minus cot square a becomes plus cot square a. Now apply square root under root of cosec square a minus 1 equal to under root of cot square a square root cancel. So right here first cot a equal to under root of cosec square a minus 1. So see once again the third identity cosec square a minus cot square a equal to 1. Then from this cosec a equal to under root of 1 plus cot square a and cot a equal to under root of cosec square a minus 1. Now these are the three important identities of trigonometry. Now see exercise 11.4 based on trigonometric identities. The problems related to based on trigonometric identities. Now this first problem evaluate the following. See first bit first problem. Here it is given 1 plus tan theta plus sec theta into 1 plus cot theta minus cosec theta. So, we have to find out the value. See, so convert all in terms of sin and cos. The maximum, the most, most of the problems in trigonometry is easy while converting the cosec, sec, cot, tan in terms of sin and cos. So, express all these in terms of sin and cos. So, 1 plus tan theta, tan theta means sin theta by cos theta, sin theta by cos theta plus sec theta, sec theta equal to 1 by cos theta into 1 plus cot theta, cot theta means we can express in terms of tan means 1 by tan theta, but we have to express in sin and cos means cot theta equal to cos theta by sin theta minus cosec theta. Cosec theta means 1 by sin theta. Cosec theta means 1 by sin theta. Now in the first term, see the LCM is cos theta. So do here the LCM is cos theta. Now multiply 1 into cos theta is cos theta plus the numerator as it is sin theta because LCM is cos theta and here the denominator is also cos theta plus here also same 1 as it is. Next in the same way as first term here the LCM is sin theta. Now 1 into sin theta is sin theta write the remaining two terms as it is cos theta minus 1. Now just rearranging the terms first term rearranging the terms first write sin theta plus cos theta plus 1 by cos theta into here also as it is now change sin theta plus cos theta minus 1 by cos sin theta by sin theta. Now see the both the terms numerators observe the numerators here sin theta plus cos theta sin theta plus cos theta same plus 1 and here minus 1. So it is in the formula of a plus b into a minus b. A value sin theta plus cos theta and b value is 1. A plus b into a minus b. A value sin theta plus cos theta and b value is 1. So multiply separate numerators separate and denominators separate. So a plus b, a plus b into a minus b equal to a square minus b square. So right here a square means sin, sin theta plus cos theta whole a square means sin theta plus cos theta whole square sin theta plus cos theta whole square minus b square b value 1 b square means 1 square by see in the denominator the denominator 
multiply the denominators sin theta into cos theta or cos theta into sin theta but write first sin theta into cos theta next here sin theta plus cos theta whole square again it is a formula a plus b whole square because it is in the form of a plus b whole square two terms sum of the two terms with square means a plus b whole square a value sin theta b value cos theta now apply the formula a square sin square theta plus b square cos square theta plus 2ab a value sin theta b value cos theta 2 sin theta into cos theta minus 1 square value 1 by denominator same as it is sin theta into cos theta is equal to see the identity the trigonometric identity sin square theta plus cos square theta sin square a plus cos square a a means any angle you can substitute either theta or alpha or beta but both must be same a a beta beta alpha alpha theta theta so here sin square a plus cos square a equal to 1 now from apply, using this identity sin square theta plus cos square theta value 1 plus 2 sin theta cos theta 2 sin theta cos theta as it is see observe sin square theta plus cos square theta value 1 2 sin theta cos theta as it is minus 1 as it is denominator as it is sin theta into cos theta plus 1 minus 1 it cancel so here the remaining in numerator sin 2 into sin theta into cos theta by denominator sin theta into cos theta so only the single terms so we can cancel sin theta into cos theta sin theta into cos theta the answer is now see first bit second problem sin theta plus cos theta whole square plus sin theta minus cos theta whole square so you have to apply the formula a plus b whole square and a minus b whole square formula a value sin theta b value cos theta a plus b whole square and next a minus b whole square sin theta minus cos theta whole square so apply a plus b whole square and a minus b whole square formula the first one a plus b whole square a value sin theta b value cos theta a square sin square theta plus b square cos square theta plus 2 a b 2 into a value sin theta b value cos theta next plus a minus b whole square a value sin theta b value cos theta a square sin square theta plus b square cos square theta minus minus 2 a b a value sin theta b value cos theta the first one a plus b whole square plus second term a minus b whole square plus 2 sin theta cos theta minus 2 sin theta cos theta it cancel next to see from the trigonometric identity first identity sin square a plus cos square a equal to 1 sin square a plus cos square a equal to 1 now from this sin square theta plus cos square theta the first term sin square theta plus cos square theta value is 1 next plus again here sin square theta plus cos square theta sin square theta plus cos square theta value is 1 see again sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 here also sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 1 plus 1 equal to 2 so sin theta plus cos theta whole square plus sin theta minus cos theta whole square value is 2. So first bit third problem sec square theta minus 1 into cosec square theta minus 1. Sorry, see the identity is second identity and third identity. Second identity related to sec and third identity related to cosec. Now from second identity, the second identity is sec square theta minus tan square theta equal to 1 or sec square a minus tan square a equal to 1. Now we need the value of sec square theta minus 1. So interchange these two terms. So here from this sec square theta minus 1 equal to bring one value left side transpose tan square value right side. So it becomes sec square theta minus 1 equal to tan square theta. Now in the same way from third identity cosec square theta minus cot square theta equal to 1 cosec square theta minus cot square theta equal to 1 
or cos x square a minus cot square a equal to 1. Now from this interchange 1 and cot square theta. So cos x square theta minus 1 equal to cot square theta. Cos x square theta minus 1 equal to cot square theta. Now these are the formulas from trigonometric identity. Now substitute cos x square theta minus 1 equal to tan square theta into cos x square theta minus 1 equal to cot square theta. So write combined square, write combined square or express cot in terms of tan. So tan square theta as it is into cot theta, the formula of cot theta, cot theta in terms of tan theta means cot theta equal to 1 by tan theta, cot theta equal to 1 by tan theta, cot square theta means cot square theta means 1 by tan square theta. So cot square theta equal to 1 by tan square theta. So tan square theta, tan square theta cancel. The answer is 1. So x square theta minus 1 into cos x square theta minus 1 value 1. So second problem, show that cos x theta minus cot theta whole square equal to 1 minus cos theta by 1 plus cos theta. So I already explained in the first bit, first problem. The most of the problem solved by converting cosec, cot, sec, tan in terms of sin and cos. So here also I am applying the same process. So convert to cosec in terms of sin. So see first write the solution. LHS cosec theta minus cot theta whole square. So write cosec in terms of sin cosec theta equal to 1 by sin theta minus cot theta equal to cos theta by sin theta, cot theta formula cos theta by sin theta whole square as it is. Next denominator is same sum of the numerators. So here the LCM is sin theta by sin theta sum of the numerators means 1 minus cos theta whole square, square as it is, see once again. The denominator is same, so sum of the numerators sin theta as it is 1 minus cos theta. Now separate the square for numerator and denominator. So 1 minus cos theta whole square by sin square theta, 1 minus cos theta whole square by sin square theta. See once again the RHS, the RHS is contains the term 1 minus cos theta and our here the numerator is also contains 1 minus cos theta. So denominator is 1 plus cos theta. So convert the sin square theta in terms of cos means express sin in terms of cos. So how to express sin in terms of cos means we have to depend only on the identities. The first identity sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. Now we need sin square theta value. So sin square theta equal to transpose cos square theta left right side. So here sin square theta equal to 1 minus cos square theta. Now this is from identity, from identity sin square theta value 1 minus cos square theta. The RHS contains complete cos terms, so express sin in terms of cos. So see here 1 minus cos theta whole square as it is by sin square theta, sin square theta value 1 minus cos square theta, sin square theta value 1 minus cos square theta. So see here the numerator, do not change the numerator, it is as is, do not do square a, a minus b whole square, put it as it is 1 minus cos theta whole square by, write this 1 as 1 square minus cos square theta, the write 1 as it is 1 square minus cos square theta. See what is the formula, right very good it is in the form of a square minus b square, a square minus b square formula a plus b into a minus b, a plus b into a minus b, a square minus b square formula, a plus b into a minus b. So write numerator as it is 1 minus cos theta whole square by the denominator a square minus b square form a plus b into a minus b, 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta. So here 1 minus cos theta 2 times and here 1 time get cancelled. So only the numerator 1 minus cos theta by the denominator 1 plus cos theta. Now this is our RHS.
this is our r axis so see the remember the simple trick converting in cosec cot in terms of sin and cos so we get the answer 1 minus cos theta by 1 plus cos theta so third problem third problem important in exam point of view so this is an important question in this exam point of view for four marks show that under root of 1 plus sin a by 1 minus sin a equal to sec a plus tan a we have to show this so write the solution first write the lhs under root of 1 plus sin a by 1 minus sin a it is given so we have to write the answer sec a plus tan a so here do the rationalization 1 plus sin a by 1 minus sin a so rationalization means just multiply and divide with 1 plus sin a here the denominator is 1 minus sin a here the plus here the minus its opposite is plus so both numerator and denominator multiply with 1 plus sin a by 1 plus sin a multiply and divide with 1 plus sin a now next two product of numerator separate product of denominator separate 1 plus sin a into 1 plus sin a 1 plus sin a into 1 plus sin a means x into x x square in the same way 1 plus sin a into 1 plus sin a means 1 plus sin a whole square the same as x into x x into x is x square the same way 1 plus sin a into 1 plus sin a means 1 plus sin a whole square x into x is x square in place of x 1 plus sin a next by denominator see the denominator it is in the form of a plus b into a minus b a plus b into a minus b a value 1 b value sin a so a plus b into a minus b formula a square minus b square so 1 square minus sin square a a value 1 b value sin a a square 1 square minus sin square a now next see separate the root for numerator and denominator so root of 1 plus sin a whole square by root of 1 square value 1 minus sin square a see once again 1 square value 1 minus sin square a in numerator square root cancel so the remaining terms 1 plus sin a by under root of so what is the value of 1 minus sin square a so again we have to depend on the identities the first identity related to sin so sin square a plus cos square a equal to 1 now from this sin square 1 minus sin square a value transpose sin square right side so left side only cos square a equal to 1 minus sin square a so 1 minus sin square a value cos square a so right 1 minus sin square equal to cos square a square root cancel so remaining terms in numerator 1 plus sin a in denominator cos a numerator 1 plus sin a denominator square root cancel the remaining term is cos a now separate the cos for the both terms the numerator contains two terms 1 and sin separate the denominator for 1 and sin a so 1 by cos a plus sin a by cos a 1 by cos a by sin a by cos a 1 by cos a 1 by cos a equal to sec a plus sin a by cos a value tan a sin a by cos a value tan a now see the rhs sec a plus tan a sec a plus tan a now this is our rhs see once again what we have to do for in this model just rationalize the denominator model so means 1 minus sin a is in the denominator so multiply both numerator and denominator with 1 plus sin a 1 plus sin a next to proceed and uh, here use the identity first identity sin square a plus cos square a then from this here the rh is sec a plus tan a 